Garrett, did you feel like you were extra amped up tonight considering it had been a while since you were on the mound? Uh, no. Uh, I was a bit, um, I was a bit, uh, prepared for if I didn't really know where the ball, where the, where the balls were going to go. Uh, plan was just to attack the strike zone in the first and, um, go from there. How were you able to be so effective? Um, I, I don't know. I just, I guess, played some good catch and I thought that, um, we carried some, uh, Carried some good delivery and, and good work that we did, you know, prior to the game, into the game. And um, I thought that we used uh, our weapons good tonight and mixed up um, some pitches well that we were a bit unpredictable and executing at a good level. So it looked like you thought you might have been in trouble there in that fifth inning on the Adele ball yeah. off the bat. What did you think of that play that Jonathan Davis made? He made a nice. He made a nice play. I was, um, you know, fast guys like that. They don't always have to. They don't always have to kick it into first gear. And uh, he, he got it. He got it better than I think all of us expected. Although the pitch was not as good as I had initially thought, um, but uh, he put a really good swing on it. And John, John ran it down. It was. A, it was a. It was a really nice play. Brennan Cuddy, go ahead. Garrett, just considering the season he's having, how would you describe your battles with Otani tonight and the relief you felt when that ball didn't go out? Yeah, I've had some good battles with him over the years. Um, I mean, he, you know, he makes you he makes you nervous every time he's in the box. So, especially in a one-run game, um, he's got a couple shift beaters off me. So maybe I got a bit fortunate there that he was able to just either get under it just enough or not pull it just enough uh reminded me of um the dd gregorius fly ball in the playoffs go next to dave lennon hey garrett i, I think you guys lead the league in, in games with two runs or fewer with 66 and, and you guys are good at them winning them when you're a starting pitcher your job is done and you have to watch the rest of those close contests. I mean, wh what's that like when you're kind of sweating through watching these games wrap up? Yeah, I mean, uh, nerve-wracking, you know. Um, um, <clears throat> I think that you just, you know, as a, as a group, we just try to make the best pitches that we can. Um, you know, you, you you don't want to get yourself in a situation, whether you're a starter or whether you're bullpen, where you're, you know, you're nitpicking around, um, you know, because you don't want to get in a position where you have to throw a strike to a strong hitter, um, you know. But at the same time, at at some point, you're going to flirt with, um, you know, pitches over the heart of the plate because you're pressing the strike zone. So, um, you know, it's 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 a tight ball game, and every, I think everybody's tight, you know, until it's in, until somebody slams the door and the game's over. And just to follow up on what Brendan asked you, what what were you doing on that sixth inning fly ball? You kind of kicked your left leg in the air. Were you trying to body English a little bit there, or or did you not um, or did you not realize what you were doing? I just thought I don't know. I just well, I don't know what I did, but I just <laughs> <laughs> he's like chasing he's chasing like change ups four inches off the plate. I, I feel like maybe he's lost a bit of awareness for the inside corner and then you know he just stands there like a telephone pole and spins on it and i'm like this this guy like i just <laughs> i'm just uh he just missed it so um it's a decent pitch just missed it didn't get away with one to upton he does what justin does when i leave pitches over the heart of the plate and uh we, you know, we made a good play on adele and so i guess um i guess it all evens out